there is freedom god has given to us that is to choose we are not made like puppets where somebody is controlling we are not like robots also where things are programmed we are created to make choices like god make choices when god has given us freedom to make choice it's because he totally loves us and out of that love he trust us three choices that you cannot make in life one you cannot choose your birth can you choose your parents when you have to be born where you have to be born second you don't make any choice for your color or you don't make any choice of your dna there's a god who has created you in a very specific way for a specific reason you cannot alter those things finally you cannot make a choice of your departure your death there are three things you can choose one you can choose your career but when you choose your career please always be wise to choose what honors god you can also choose your friends you choose wrong friends you will develop eventually wrong habits wrong lifestyles and of course your lifestyle will determine your destiny at the end third one you can choose your habits habits are not developed automatically desires will lead you to emotions and feelings and emotions will lead you to decision and decision will lead you to habits habits are going to lead you to your character and character will decide your destiny it's a process choose those habits which will help you to have godly lifestyles there are three things you must choose in your life first of all you must choose god god must be the defining center of gravity in your life if your choice is god you will always want to do things which honors god brings pleasure into the heart of god you make anything as the center of your gravity of life all those things will fail if you make god as the center of your gravity he can balance your life very well matthew chapter 6 verse 33 when you are choosing god that means you are giving him the highest priority hebrews chapter 11 24 and 25 what did moses do rather than living in the palace of pharaoh he chose to suffer with the people of god why because he knew that is the will of god he did not choose passing away pleasures of sin he chose god luke chapter 10 verses 38 to 42 this is a story of two sisters Martha and Mary Jesus went to their house one day what was Martha doing she was working she was very hard worker dynamic proactive very committed is nothing wrong about those things but what was the problem when there was a choice to stop and seek for something better she didn't want to because she was habituated to work under pressure mary on the other hand she chose to sit at the feet of jesus christ listen to him now jesus did not condemn work but he is actually teaching us priority of choosing god what is jesus saying that you are anxious and troubled about many things martha chose duty mary chose devotion martha chose service mary chose servitude martha chose uh, ministry mary chose intimacy martha chose labor mary chose love martha chose works mary chose faith there's nothing wrong with duty but duty without devotion is just meaningless nothing wrong with service but service which is not unto god is not a service which glorify god doing ministry is a problem no but if ministry is not rising out of your intimacy with the lord it is not a ministry which is glorifying god it's not acceptable to god is works a problem no your works must come out of faith labor is not a problem but your labor must come out of love in the midst of all distractions and attractions which are drifting you from the focus of life you must intentionally every day make your goal that God will be the center of life because it is from him through him and it is for him that's the equation secondly you must choose the will of god always 1 john chapter 2 verses 15 to 17 you cannot love the world and love god at the same time they are incompatible when you choose god you will have to die to your flesh deuteronomy chapter 30 verses 15 to 20 moses at the end of his life before 25 lakh people what is he saying my brothers and sisters i have given you these two choices whether you choose good or god 
evil or righteousness the choice is there before you the lord will bless you if you will make god and god's will as a priority but if you don't you will surely perish it's not about perceiving the will of god but it's pursuing the will of god if you pursue the will of god there will be challenges struggles hindrances but are you ready to do that that's the question jesus at the garden of gethsemane what did he pray not my will but god your will for you to do the will of god you got to lay down your will at the altar if you don't lay your isaacs at the altar the promises of god will not be fulfilled through your life matthew chapter 13 verse 45 and 46 he understood the value perceiving is not enough doing he sold it that's the turning point are you willing to lay down your will that's when god's will will be manifested if you're reading this you will know what is god's will for your life because this is the revealed word of god and if this revealed word of god is part of your life you will actually be led into specific will of god final thing you must choose your definition of success how do you spell success s t e w a r s h i p stewardship success is to live in the center of god's will and to be faithful in what god has entrusted to you of money time resources relationships good and faithful servant enter into my kingdom god defines success for you god has given us only one life and in this life you have to make the right choice come into a relationship with jesus christ choose god choose the will of god and choose your definition for success 